Now, make sure you understand this example, because what happens in this, this example is something that tricks a lot of people. We have a negative sign right here. It's not a negative 2 multiplied by this or a negative 3. There's no number right there. It's just a negative sign. That's the same as having a negative 1 right here. This would be the same as having negative 1 times 3x plus 8. So we still have to distribute. We have to distribute the negative sign across both of those terms in the parentheses. So the left side will be negative 3x and then when, when we put the negative sign over here on the 8, we get a negative 8. So the effect of this negative sign outside this parentheses is to change the sign of each of these things. You can see this 3x became a negative 3x. And the 8, which was a positive 8, became a negative 8. So that negative sign got distributed and negated or changed the sign of each of the things inside. So the left side is now negative 3x minus 8 and the right side is negative 4x plus 11. Now I will add 4x to each side. And on the right side the negative 4x and the positive 4x cancel out. So on the right side I just have 11. On the left side, negative 3x and positive 4x add up to a positive 1x, or just x. And then I still have my negative 8. So I have x minus 8 on the left. x minus 8 equals 11. And I can finish this problem by adding 8. That cancels out the negative 8 on the left. And of course, I have to also add my 8 on the right if I've added it on the left. On the left, x is now all by itself. x is isolated. On the right, I have 11 plus 8, which is 19. So the problem is solved. x equals 19. And one more example where we distribute a negative sign, or what is really a negative 1. I'm going to rewrite this. The left side will stay the same. Negative 2x plus 7. On the right side, this negative sign gets applied to the 3x, making it a negative 3x. And the negative sign also gets stuck onto the negative 4. This is like saying a negative 1 out here multiplied by the negative 4. A negative 1 times a negative 4 is a positive 4. You could also think of that like this. This negative sign applied to that negative 4 gives me a negative negative 4 or the opposite of negative 4, which is positive 4. Now I can solve the problem by adding 3x to each side. On the right, adding 3x will cancel out the negative 3x. But I also have to add 3x on the left. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. So on the left, I have negative 2x plus 3x, which is 1x. And I still have my plus 7. And on the right, I have a 4. So x plus 7 equals 4. Now I can subtract 7 from each side. The plus 7 and the minus 7 cancel each other out. And on the, on the left, I'm left with only x isolated. On the right, I have 4 minus 7. And the answer is negative 3 x equals negative 3.